First up, event sourcing. Event sourcing is a design pattern where every change to the state of an application is captured as a sequence of events. Instead of storing just the current state, we store a log of all the events that have led up to the current state. This means the state can be reconstructed at any time by replaying these events. Here's how it works. When an event occurs, it's stored in the event log. An event handler processes this event and updates the application's state accordingly. The current state is essentially a function of all past events. This allows us to not only know the current state, but also how we got there. Event sourcing offers several advantages. It provides a complete audit trail, making it easy to track changes over time. You can replay events to debug or recreate past states. Temporal queries become straightforward. You can ask what the state was at any point in time. Additionally, it's scalable and enhances system resilience. However, it also introduces complexity, requires more storage to keep all events, and can present challenges like event versioning and performance overhead. Now let's talk about traditional CRUD operations. Create, read, update, delete. This is the conventional way of interacting with databases. The focus here is on directly manipulating the current state of data without necessarily keeping a history of changes. In CRUD operations, user actions directly modify the database state. For example, an update operation overwrites existing data. Unless you implement additional mechanisms, you lose the previous state. The focus is on the current data, and the history isn't retained. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and want the best practice website for system design interviews, check out our website at systemdesignschool.io. Now back to the video. CRUD has its own set of advantages. It's simple and performant, making it suitable for a wide range of applications. It's easy to implement and is widely adopted, which means a lot of community support and resources are available. However, they lack built-in mechanisms for tracking historical data, which can be a drawback when auditing or debugging is necessary. Additionally, scaling CRUD systems can become challenging as complexity grows. So when should you use each approach? Event sourcing is ideal for applications with complex state management, where audit trails are crucial, or in event-driven architectures. CRUD is suitable for simpler applications that require high performance and don't need to retain historical day. Let's explore a real-world example of event sourcing in banking. Every transaction, deposit, or withdrawal is recorded as an event. The current account balance isn't stored directly, but calculated by applying all transactions. This provides a complete financial history and makes auditing straightforward. By storing each event with a timestamp, we can generate a balance over time graph, perform temporal queries, and even reconstruct the account status at any past moment. This level of detail is invaluable for compliance and customer service. In banking, event sourcing enhances fraud detection by providing detailed transaction histories. It allows for easy rollbacks in case of errors and supports temporal analytics. Now, let's consider an inventory management system using CRUD operations. The focus here is on the current stock levels of products. When stock levels change, the database is updated to reflect the new quantities, overwriting the old data. When a sale occurs, the stock level for the product is updated directly. The previous stock level isn't retained unless additional logging is implemented. CRUD operations offer high performance for inventory systems where quick reads and writes are essential. The simplicity in data handling and efficient storage use make it ideal for applications dealing with large data sets. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Also, check out our website at systemdesignschool.io for system design interview practice, complete with an AI autograder. Thanks, and we'll see you all in the next video.